How's it going, Halo Divers and Freedom Fighters alike? Uh, today, we got quite a bit to talk about. So here, starting off with the major order progress, we are at 99% solid on liberating Tian Quan. Uh, I didn't have any doubts at all that we would hit that. It was climbing so incredibly fast once the order was issued. Uh, there's still a day and 22 hours left as of recording this video. But like I said before, we, we got it in the bag. So. so now let's go over what people are talking about on the Reddit. So here we got this post. I swear it wasn't like this before. I used to play difficulty eight and not even there would be get this bad this is difficulty four i genuinely don't know what to use to take these out i'm so confused this is how i feel about this game i used to be able to play because i play solo that's made very apparent if you watch my videos i play solo and i could do level five level six by myself just fine and i jumped on a level four just to see what was going on and this is very accurate they made this game so much more harder and i'm assuming that was the entire point of it it was was to make it a lot harder it's just a bit odd coming from pre-patch where I was able to, you know, go all the way up to level six and it was still a struggle. Don't get me wrong. It was still a struggle, at least for me. And now going to level four and level four is almost as bad as level six, if not worse as it was before, before the patch. I've seen many people talking about this and I, at the back of my mind, I wasn't sure if it was an actual issue or if it was just me acting crazy, but yeah. And here we have this other post that reads, bug breaches feel instantaneous. Give us a freaking chance to pop glitter butt before he summons 10 chargers, please. And down there the reply reads, real. So many times do I kill a little shitter one millisecond after he releases a microscopic gust of gliz glitter butt and still five bio titans, 10 chargers, and 15 brood commanders show up. This was me last night i jumped on a level five fighting terminids this literally happened to me glitter butt showed up i had two bio titans on me and i was i i, I ran using the pre meta loadout i was going breaker uh rail gun and shield generator just to see how much uh, like how different it is after the patch and i was struggling 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 i I missed the railgun and the shield generator and the breaker. I, I missed I missed how it was before <laughs> before the patch. It would be nice though if there was a longer delay before said bug breach was to actually be, you know, in effect. Because I, I know there's a cooldown in between bug breaches, how often they can actually get pumped out. Whether or not that it's it's dependent upon your level or what, I have no idea. But it would be nice if we did have a longer cooldown in between. And here we got a post joking about the armor, and I kind of mentioned this in my last video. Uh, armor is still a huge joke. It says, I was hoping I could survive for at least 10 more seconds with post-patch armor. How I thought armor would work. Hunter armor, 200 armor, optional hunter cape armor, total 300 to 400 full body armor go tank a 500 kilogram or something how it actually works a kitten total does not matter you will die to rng headshots yes armor is still a joke and it's so sad to see because the armor he's wearing right there i believe that's the juggernaut armor i could be wrong no that's the fortified armor either way it is it is tanky it, it looks very very tanky so you think you'd be able to withstand you know a lot but you really can't so armor obviously like i said before it needs a it needs another huge rework and going back on bug breaches i seen this post uh this means and I thought this was like a really good idea. So bug breaches should spawn a hole like a nest entrance so we can quickly grenade them. That would be very nice. As, as soon as a bug breach gets thrown up, you just stuck a grenade in the hole, stop the bug breach. Because you can kind of technically stop, a, you know, a bot drop coming in on the automatons if you shoot down the, the drop ship, you know, prior to them dropping the robots down. But there's not really a way to prevent the bugs coming in bug breaches. So this would be a really good idea, I think. Speaking of good ideas, I seen this one. For those that play lower difficulties, we should be able to convert samples up to the next rarity level at an unfavorable exchange rate and it's funny because i was thinking about this the other day and i was like it is so weird to me that there's not an exchange because you, you you'd think like i don't know maybe what five commons can turn into a rare and like 10 rares can turn into one super sample something like just something like that because i mean especially now uh they made the game a lot harder you know since they made the game harder it's, it's gonna make stuff you know more difficult for me because you know i play solo so i'm probably at least not right now anyways, I'm probably not going to be able to play above level 5 at the most. And super samples, they only spawn on, I think, level 7 through 9. So people like me, we're just kind of shit out of luck at this point. Unless they change uh, what difficulty levels these super samples actually do spawn from. If they want to keep said, you know, if they want to keep how difficult the game is right now, which I kind of feel like they would because I feel like I kind of feel like how the game is right now is, is its int intentional difficulty level. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And then down there at the bottom, there's a reply to this that says, to be honest, I'm fine with this. I just need 
need the eagle to drop two 500 kilogram bombs before it rearms. This would be huge. If the eagle could drop two 500 kilogram bombs, I don't use the 500 kilogram bomb at all, really, because I think it needs a, a, a buff. Uh, I feel like it's super weak. I honestly would rather use the 110 rocket pods or just the eagle airstrike other than the 500 kilogram bomb. Uh, but that's just me. And then we got this post that came out two hours ago. I thought this was a very like common sense kind of post. It says it's bullshit. Titans, chargers, tanks, and hulks can survive having a giant bullet go through them. And it says dropping your pod on an enemy should always be a one shot kill regardless of the enemy type or size. Yes, because if you look at the hell pod when it's coming down, it is essentially a giant bullet. I mean, a human sized bullet, if not bigger. So there's no reason. And I mean, for the most part, it does kill enemies for the most part if they've already taken damage before but you would think like regardless like if a fresh spawn bile titan just just came out of the ground and say you were calling a reinforcement and at that same moment when he lands on that bile titan it should 100 percent just wipe him out right then and there and then we seen and then i've seen this one it says remember hell divers just like the devs said use your stratagems and it goes back to what i was saying in my last video the cooldowns for the stratagems are ridiculous especially when you go into the planets that have like a 50 percent increase to cooldowns or you go to a planet that has a hundred percent increase to cooldowns or if you go to a planet like i seen yesterday i don't remember what planet it was but it had a hundred percent and a fifty percent stacked on top of one another that's a hundred and fifty percent cooldown increase that is insane like i said i understand that some stratagems need a long cooldown and for like balancing but at the same time it's like there's no reason why like if i want to call down you know pre-patch i would call down my like my real gun and i think what the cooldown was like what like six minutes five minutes or something like that sure that's nothing in like the grand scheme of things but like when you're in the game it's like sometimes you know you die and your weapon will clip through the ground it happened to me my auto cannon when i die it will sometimes like clip into the fully the the the, the terrain so i'm not able to get it back so it'd be nice for me to just be able to call it back in as soon as i land but no i'm still on you know like a four minute cooldown so it just needs some reworking i've seen a comment on uh i think my last video it was it said they've completely killed all the positive momentum they had and divided their community i'm sure this patch has also motivated plenty of people to stop playing as much if not quit entirely yeah they 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 really dropped the ball on this one but like i said in my last video i'm kind of repeating myself a lot with what i said in my last video but there is still plenty of time to fix this because the game is i think a month old today exactly a month old today i'm pretty sure so there is plenty of time to fix this before it gets really bad because right now it's not great but it's not the worst either i've seen i've seen much worse but there's still time then we got this post here that says the person helping you reload the recoiler shouldn't have to be the one wearing the ammunition backpack yes i've been saying this from day one it makes no sense i because I, I i had a friend that i did play with a little bit on this game he got bored of the game really quick but it would make so much sense because it's like if you're wearing the recoilless or say the auto cannon you wear in the backpack and then you got the weapon as well and then say your friend they have their own things there's no reason why you can't still be ads he comes up behind you you know grabs one of the shells throws it in the recoilless and you're good to go again so it says right here it doesn't make much sense they should be able to link up with you and take the shells from your backpack and load them into the launcher that actually makes more sense because they would have easier and faster access to what's on your back while standing behind you than taking something from their own back makes sense it's just awkward currently one has to carry the recoilless and the other the backpack nobody wants to sacrifice their shield or whatever to help you reload fast very 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 true very true i'm happy to be the heavy guy using the launcher so just let the people help me reload when i'm wearing the ammunition again i, I i'm pretty sure i seen pielstedt who is you know the ceo of air Head. It was either Hammer or some, somebody, somebody at Arrowhead. I seen somebody mention this. So there's a possibility that there could be a rework in the future, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And by the way, if you've been playing on TN Quan, there is apparently, there's a chance for mechs to spawn. I have yet to see one, but I've seen multiple pictures and videos like, you know, the picture you're seeing here. Mechs do spawn. They are usable. Um, it's just a matter of RNG, I guess. I have not been able to see one. I really want to jump into one. They look super fun. I have yet to see one. So if you see one, if you found one, let me know in the comments below because I'm starting to doubt the authenticity of these posts. I don't know if it's actually in the game yet or what because I have not seen one. And then we got this post here. It says, do you guys think helmets should have a passive as well? I'd like helmets to allow specific types of stratagems to have their either increased effectiveness or lowered cooldown. So the army you have that has the designation of like paramedic or combat engineer calls and support stuff faster or whatever and like assault types can call in the offensive stratagems more they can make it so more specific but who knows i think it's kind of weird that none of the helmets have um 
any kind of uh, passives. I think there's actually one that has a passive. I could be wrong, um, but it's just very odd that none of the helmets have passives, uh, especially like the Drone Master armor set. You would think that, you know, that the helmet would have like, like, like it says right there, like you can have like a stratagem reduce or something. Just, just, just some sort of passive. And down there, uh, the reply says 100%. The fact they didn't was actually pretty surprising to me. And it seems like a vastly overlooked sector area of the game. And it looks like that's all we got to talk about for today, guys. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about, you know, the current state of the game down in the comments below. What you, if you, if you think the game has been, you know, increased in difficulty, if you, if you think it's harder, let me know down in the comments below. Um, oh, and, uh, let me know what you guys think about a conversion that we could do for samples. I, I personally think that's a really, really good idea, uh, but I would love to hear what you guys think. And please do let me know if you guys have actually found mechs on Tian Quan yet. I would really like to know if this is authentic or not, because I really want to try one out. But that's going to have to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if anything else pops up, I will let you guys know. Keep fighting the bugs. Keep finding the bots. Keep fighting for democracy. I will see you guys in the next video.